Tonight on Aska Hot Seat, we sit down for an exclusive interview with our newest National Series champion, Rez Levin, as we discuss his career in full from his beginnings to his failures and to his new found success. Oh yeah, and also he mentions a homeless drug addict which single-handedly ruined his season 4 title hopes. You know, normal stuff. This is part of a new selective video, it's where the editing quality is going to be a little shorter, mainly because simply I don't have the time or motivation to spend days on end working on hot seat videos just for the editing alone. So consider this more of a podcast type series from this point forward. With that being said, enjoy the interview. And I am now here at the Aska Hub, I'm going to readjust my camera a little bit. And I am here with our newest Division 2 champion. It is Rez Levin, who's been here for a while since Season 2, correct? Were you part of the community yep. in Season 1? Uh, no. Okay, because I know there's some guys, like, in um, Season 2 that were part of the community in Season 1, but they... Because, like, in Season 1, we had, like, this thing where we kind of... I wouldn't say we locked people out, but I think, like, really early on in the season, we just didn't let anyone, like, sign after a while. Because, like, Logan, for example, he was around season one. He just didn't race because he didn't sign up quick enough. So, yeah, I was just curious about that. Because I know you showed up in season two. Actually, now I think about it, where did we meet? Because we knew each other before Asuka, right? Er Ara. Ara, yeah, no, I knew, yeah, I knew, okay. Yeah, no, we met at that time. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, no, guys, I was maybe, thinking about that. Maybe, um, Ashes are old. It might have been, it might have been Ashes. Like, okay. Wait, which, which one? Because, like, when we talk about Ash's League, there's a lot of things that we can be talking about. Uh, Intel. Intel. Was I in no, Intel? I don't know if I was in Intel. Yeah, I don't think I was in Intel. I was in one of, I was one of, um, in Ash's older leagues before that, but I don't think I was in Intel. I might have, but it might have been after, because I joined ARA first. I know that much. Yeah. So it might have been afterward. Finally, I uh, joined off of, um, fucking... Uh, Wolfie, because I knew him from a different yeah. game. Okay, yeah, no, that would make sense, because Wolfie was still, like, Wolfie was starting to get his hands dirty with, like, game development and stuff at that time. Yeah, yeah. that would make sense. Alright, well, first off, how you doing today, man? Ah, uh, pretty good. <laughs> Alright, awesome. I was doing great before, uh, you know, the thing happened. Yes. You know, it was really unfortunate, too, because, uh, that manhunt thing. Uh, we were going to go looking for Chris Bald Paul. <laughs> I had this whole elaborate plan that we were all gonna go find him, but they had to ruin it. So, um, oh, yeah, no. for viewers who um, don't know and are on the server, basically we just tried doing a live like broadcast of Ask a Hot Seat. So we had a whole audience. The problem with that is that we had Chris and Penske there who had no interest in cooperating and just kept admin abusing, was like just abusing soundboards, was making it really unwatchable. And I was just like, yeah, we have to scrap this. So, immediately after, I'm like, let's go back to the normal format. Let's dim down the editing a little bit so it doesn't, you know, kill my motivation. And now we are here with Rez Levin. So, uh, first off, entering this season, Rez, did you expect to be a champion? Mm, maybe. To be honest, um, all after last season, um, after Atlanta, I was mm -hmm. just shut off for, like, a good part of the season after that because, um, you know... I, I had pace in Atlanta. I was probably going to do a good Atlanta, make it past that stage of the playoffs, but then uh, you probably heard about this, the whole homeless druggy situation. What? I... The, the, you know about that? Wait, I don't think I... Wait, say that again? The homeless druggy situation. Where homeless I, I, like, druggy? Yes, we had a fucking like, homeless crackhead come into the restaurant and ask him about a fucking cigarette lighter. What the fuck? See, I never heard about this. What the yeah. fuck? Wait, and this like happened after Atlanta. No, during Atlanta. What the fuck? That is very much this, this, like this, this is this is like why we're going um greenest time. Mm-hmm. That is it's like I've had my own fair share of people at my job at Circle K. Like um I have like I had this person right. I think it's a woman. <laughs> I think it's a woman. <laughs> but, um, I think it's a woman that came in and, like, she's kind of, look, I don't want to be mean, but she, you know, like the, you know, like the fucking, like, how people look like, how do I explain this? Like, uh, what's the word? Fucking, it's, uh, 
don't know. You know, like, how... Stereotype. You know, like, the stereotype of how, like, drug addicts look, right? Like, they have yeah. hair falling out, like, really, like, dirty... Stri- Basically, that was her, right? Oh. And, like, she was clearly on some other shit. Because she was coming in... Um, she wanted to, like, look at all of our products before buying it. Um, it was a mess. But, like, you're telling me some homeless druggie just came in and asked for a letter. Dead ass, like... Through the back of the restaurant, I, I had my like my the back. Setup. Yeah, so like, um, I'm like the, our restaurant is at the back of a, it's like in a strip mall, right? And I was yeah. in the back of the restaurant because mm-hmm. it's a Friday, so Fridays are usually busy for us, and yeah. I didn't have time to go home. So like, why not just set up? Yeah, in the back of the restaurant, and let it rip. And for a while, um, up until that point, it worked. Yeah. So and I, I said to that nowadays too, yeah. but like, I just stopped after that because. Yeah. I, so like, like, how did he even know that the guy was there? He fucking came up to me and asked, "Hey, do you have a lighter?" In the, wait, like, he came through the back door. Yes. Like he, <laughs> he came. Up, he should have opened the back door. Why well, no, It was already open because it was like fucking hot as hell during the summer. Yeah. That is a very odd story that I was not expecting. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Well, go ahead and talk about uh, your history here in Asuka so far. Uh, you came here from season two. Uh, you know, we had our fair share of, uh, you know, disagreements and fights at that Real time. Come, come yeah, I, I, I feel bad for that now, but... <laughs> Nah, nah, it was, it was all deserved. I, I still hate Milwaukee to this day. I suck at that place. Dude, but... <laughs> yeah, but, um... After that season... Wait, was it... You raced... Wait, did you race in season three? Yeah, D2 season three. D2 season three. What number were you? 80 Dream, the eyes on car. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that one. Uh, yeah, but season well, two... Yeah, weren't season, cool. season three, D2 was a really forgettable. Yeah, well, it was, because no one showed up at the end. Like, our final four was, like, weird. It was, like, you covers Blackstone, I think. DSA, maybe? DSA. I don't know if DSA was active in Season 3. Maybe maybe it was DSA. I don't know. All I know is that Season 3, D2 was dead, right? Like, it was dead. Because, like, at least in Season 2, D2, we had two guys that, you know, continuously showed up to everything, being Ginger Ale and Nikki, which made the championship actually exciting. But, like... See, like season three was genuinely just the four guys that like showed up, right? So that was yeah, a little weird. Yeah, fucking Outery. Yeah, well, Outery, yeah, because Outery would have won the D two championship easy, yeah. but he went to D one. Yeah, and like every every single race in D two that season, uh, basically, ev- uh, was um won by a D one driver. Yeah. Yeah, because um, I know I won a couple that season. It was how we filled the field, genuinely. It was just asking D1 drivers to show up. Because uh, I know I won a couple. I know Ultimate won a couple. I know Logan won a couple. Um, yeah, so, geez. Season <laughs> season 3 D2 was a mess, but... I still uh, remember that one time where I fucking uh, choked it at Charlotte. What happened? And that's the one where you gave it to Yeedy, right? I think, I think so, yeah. Yeah, Yeedy won Season 3 uh, Charlotte. I know that much. And I mean, that was the one thing that I remembered about Yeedy until obviously he won. That's still crazy to me. That, like, Yeedy's a cup winner now, right? Like, we all knew it was going to happen this season, but it came during the most, well, the worst time possible, right? Because you have Addicted and Logan battling for the championship and yeah, Reckon like and shit. Juggernaut title fight going at the end, and then just Yeedy just. Yeah, just Yeedy just pulling away. Fuck. Like, he's not even. Um, yeah, and. I know you were there when we tried filming that live episode. Addicted said, we were talking to Addicted yeah. um, about all that. Um, unfortunately, and I hate to say this, Addicted was not really cooperating. Um, he kind of, he wasn't saying much, which made it very yeah. difficult for me to, uh, is this anything against him? Like, genuinely, I was just like, trying to generate discussion. I just liked it being Addicted. Yeah, like, but. Not very um, outgoing with his words. Yeah, well, it's whatever. Uh, we're going to be having an interview with him, um, with Logan tomorrow. 
Um, I, I'm already scheduling shit ahead of time, like, just because everything, like, went on that live episode working, and now that it isn't, I'm just kind of like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna go, like, go ahead and just do what I normally did, just lower the editing a little bit, and hopefully get these out a little easier. But, um, now that I have the opportunity to talk to you, I want to talk about Season 4, because Season 4, from the cup side, for a second, uh, both of us being team owners, and both of yeah. us having horrible seasons as team owners. Oh. We finished in the bottom two in the standings. Um, it was horrible for us, but it was especially horrible for you because it's it's essentially what killed your D1 team, right? It's what, Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell me, like, what happened throughout all that because I've never had the opportunity to really talk to you about um, that and about what happened and what went wrong. So I feel like, man, I got the D1 team based off of my work. Yeah. Up Chris, right? Yeah, absolutely. No, I can say for certainty that obviously we paid you for your models, but when you register a team, we were like, there's no way we we're going to say no, right? Like, he's done yeah. so much work for us. It only makes sense that we give him a team, right? Yeah. And then, like, um, so I'll put out a point. I've only um, owned one team. Yeah. Um, do you remember Ash Lemmer? I do remember Ash Lemmer. So I used to, um, race in a league that he owned uh, mm -hmm. called Cookout Roblox. I know Cookout. Racing. Everyone knows. Yep, I yep. know Cookout. <laughs> RCRA. Um, so he was the owner of that, right? Yeah. Okay. So I was really signed to a guy called Howie. I drove the, mainly just drove the 41 Shelby Ford. Mm -hmm. um, and halfway during the season, there was some shit that came up, I think with a how how he handled his management row so racing he, like, drama yeah no tell me about and that i want to hear about the row racing drama what happened i forgot but like okay. somehow he ended up with me like originally ash lemon was gonna like scrap the team entirely but like i at the last minute i convinced him to give it to me yeah and that was the season three team right yeah okay uh, wait. it was no that was a uh, no it was, it was season one wait wait of Cookout or Aska? Cookout. Okay, I thought we were still. T I thought we were like switched over to Aska. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and um, I, I had a was it like me and Crazy Time Man on the team at that point. Yeah, Crazy Time Man. Oh, what a name. Yeah. <laughs> How? Okay, this does sound like a really weird question. How old is he? Do you know? I don't, I don't know. Because I know like, I know back in Probably. ARA he was like a like a baby, like a fucking like baby. I think it was like six. 14? Now? No, at at the time, just like back in 2020. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. So I think it's like around my age now, like 16, 17. Okay. Because I know in um, ARA, I think... I, see, because that's when I was still an asshole, right? So... Yeah, <laughs> yeah so... Um, <laughs> yeah, so... um, I remember... I think what happened was, is that in ARA, like, I didn't like a lot of people in ARA because most of them were literal children. And yeah. Jace didn't really give a shit, which is fair. But uh, Crazy Time Man was, like, somebody who I really did not like. And I think he may have, like, used his mic, like, once. And obviously he was a squeaker. He was, like, he was like all going, hi, guys, how you guys doing? It's like, oh, no, like, fuck that. So <laughs> I got gauged to, like, I think ban him from the league or some shit. And um, I think, because I think the other time, because I didn't he raise an Asuka for a short while. Oh, yeah, she's in four. Yeah, he did. And I think I I think I brought it up to the board when he came back. I was like, guys, I do not know how old this guy is. And they, like, went on a full investigation to, like, figure out how old he was. But apparently he was overage. And that means that he was probably overage when, um, ARA happened. But he just, his voice hadn't dropped yet. So, yeah, I feel bad about that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, oh, fucking, remember the fucking roulette of microphones I went through? Oh, yeah. What happened there? Like, did your mic just, like, keep fucking with you? Yeah, so I had a headset mic. Mm -hmm. That broke. I moved to a camera mic. That also broke. No, Another not the camera mic. mic. <laughs> that broke. And then I had, like, a standalone camera. No, fuck it, not camera. I fucking microphone. That, um, with the hand-me-down from my uncle. Mm -hmm. I have, like, a, a lot of hand-me-down shit. That's fair. Um, and that broke as well. Jesus Christ. So what do you have now? So like, what? What do you have now? Um, it's a razor headset. All right. 
Dude, I've had this wireless. Let me tell you, this wireless headset that I think I've had for about two years now. The mic is completely fucked on it. Like it's literally broken from the amount of times I've dropped it. Like I'll be oh. like, dude, no, like I drop this headset way more often than I'd like to admit. I'm surprised that it still works. Like, oh, yeah, like the reason why I had to get like this new like um this uh, table stand mic was because like my mic on my headset just stopped working anymore. Also, is also shit. To be fair, like it was pretty bad. But um, yeah, no, dude, like fucking, I'm surprised this headset's still alive. Like genuinely. Is awful. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. Um, yeah, but we're talking about. Let's stop talking about headsets. Let's talk about Aska. What happened to your season four team in Aska? Oh, yeah. So at one point, I had agreed to sign Marcus. Really? Yeah. I didn't know. And about then that. I, I completely forgot about that, and Marcus got. Com got you, I remember that. I remember that shit. I don't. Mar I remember Marcus bitching about that. <laughs> Yeah, and like, um, so, this is coming back to the RCRA thing where I only owned one thing. I had no idea what I was doing at the time, yeah. so like, I just signed some random match, but I did not know. Um, oh. look curious. Oh. I didn't know where he was from. Yeah, no one I never did. knew him. <laughs> that obviously did not turn out did well. Did not um, turn out well. I mean, he was your most active driver, maybe just not the active driver you would have wanted. Yeah. Um, I had Lexus. Great. Uh, it, Lexus didn't show up. He was but okay. Alexis is great, but you know, he just well, didn't like, show up. Well, I got the time. It was, um. Yeah, I didn't have the time. It was pretty rough. Yeah. And then you also had fucking Josh, which, let me say, for any team owner watching this broadcast right now, watching this episode, if Josh tells you, if he comes up to you and tells you that he will be active if you sign him, he is a liar. He has said that shit like three or four times now. All right? Do not listen to him. All right? And he's like fucking in the um I can pull this up in the trolling channel. In the, the trolling group channel that me, um, Dur, Dunn, and Chris are in where we talk about the um The car Yeah. Yeah. If I start shop inside lane. Okay, so So we were talking about um, some stuff of the about restaurant and like if yeah. I have time available to run D1 or not. Mm -hmm. And then I asked, you got any recommend recommendation on who to sign? Uh, and Chris said, uh, inside lane. Dog! Chris, this is, look, all I'm saying is that like Chris might make some good signings for his own team, but never take team advice from him. Never. You wanna know something? I took team advice from him for oh, my, no. no for season four um i was i he didn't tell it wasn't as direct as it was with you right like he didn't tell me who's that i brought up names and he told me whether they were good or not and it was besides from weehawk i had weehawk on there just because it's weehawk but i had three rookies i had freedom fighter jose i had dale turned right and i had v colby v colby is dead i genuinely think that man is dead he got murdered and thrown to the side of the road and no one has found his body yet but Dale Turn Right was not active. Uh, when he did show up, he was very fast, but that was a very rare occurrence. I think genuinely like, maybe the one race that he did show up to yeah. and qualify was Bristol. Um, and then obviously there was Freedom Fighter Jose. Pretty self-explanatory, really fast driver. But we um, know the, um, the whole MIT thing that went down. MIT thing. The, um, where he like, he... He like had a different account. As no, well. that's what you meant by that. Yeah, no, I already know about all that. What's his uh, what was his original username? Because I know he did season three. Jackomets. Yeah, Jack Jackomets. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I remember like fucking um going to the uh Charlotte um uh -huh. fucking the Charlotte Open game, right? Yeah. Because I was so pissed at the time about like how I fucked up um D two mm -hmm. that I just spent like hours on end just driving there just practicing mm. oh that's it what <laughs> i thought there was something else you wanted to say with that sorry yeah. but um <laughs> yeah but we got fucked over in season four but at okay, least at least Chris, for your end trolling yeah we, you know just trolling 
But at least on your end, you had a really good season four in D2, multiple wins. Did you make the final four? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Atlanta, Atlanta was, uh... What, yeah, Atlanta was where it all went wrong, because that one fucking homeless guy that fucked over your ass good chances, dude. Yeah, before that, I, I thought I had a generally good shot at it because I yeah. was fast. I could, I could generally contend with Chris. Yeah, like I hate to say it, but like you were better last season than you were this season up until that championship. Well, to be honest, I was just um, it felt more like season three where it's just more consistent, like yeah. not being very flashy. Mm -hmm. A couple of times I got screwed over because of uh, cautions. Uh, I remember Chicago Land, if they um fucking Chris called it the foreskin cart I was driving um I took two tires fucking I think Clone Ninja LCI yeah that did it <laughs> and I, I still managed to finish second or third something like that mm -hmm. so like there was a whole stretch between well, like Atlanta oh. I, oh I got kicked for being idle I never like moved my camera oops. oh shit <laughs> yeah oops I gotta rejoin really quick <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm coming back. Don't worry. I'm coming. I'm coming as fast as I can. That's not the right room I'm supposed to be in. But um, entering season five, you it, it was very weird, right? Because, like, you weren't as good as you were in season four, obviously. But see, stuff seemed to go your way, especially in the round of eight, right? Yeah. Um, was it? I remember winning a race for the playoffs, Atlanta, uh, which was a fuel race. Yeah. Barely pit, um, Snob over that. He was like, I didn't realize I was gonna run out of fuel until like, what, 10 laps to go? So like, I was desperately saving. Yeah, it's desperately saving, that whole save game. Yeah, because um, you know, the whole focus on two tires. Yeah. You, you completely forget about your fuel. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, fuel's a weird one. But, and then, um, uh, yeah, here we go. There's a round of eight, Talladega. Round of eight uh, was not Talladega, it was round of 12. Round of 12. There's a round of 12 uh, finisher, right? Yeah. But entering Homestead, I think that you were considered the big underdog, right? I mean, I think yeah. that, yeah, you know, out of, you had, you know, Citri, you had Fearless, you had Bite Blocks, all these guys have all these wins, have all the uh, major consistency. And then there was you, right? Yeah. Uh, like, Tommy, I was always there. Like, yeah, you were always there. It was just that, you know, either stuff happened to you where you got screwed over or you made a wrong pit call. You know, or or Fearless just, just chucked it down the inside of me. Yeah. Over. I need to bring Fearless onto the show at some point. I feel like he doesn't you, get enough. You, you really should. Yeah, He's does he a have a mic? Guy. I, I don't know. If he could get, like, fucking text-to-speech, then we can do it. Yeah. But, because, um... What I tried doing with Cool Plug, and I don't know if it's really going to be possible anymore with all the post editing I have to do. Uh, yeah. But basically, it's an episode. I think I still have the footage. And I feel like I might incorporate it into an episode at some point. Because theoretically, I could. But um, I have this interview with Cool Plug. There's a lot of stuff I need to upload. I still need to upload the second part of Outery's interview. I still need to. Because I did uh, an interview with Cool Plug and Blue Cup, like, yep. fucking three months ago that just kind of been sitting around. I don't even know if it would be worth uploading, honestly. It's so outdated now. I actually remember when you fucking interviewed me, like, was it, like, Las Vegas? I did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did that video ever come out? I don't think, I think that's no. Yeah, nah. that's, that's why I got, that's why I lost motivation. Yeah. That happens a lot of, more often than you think, by the way. There's just a ton of, like, interviews that just never happened. Because it was, like, right after I lost motivation. But hopefully it doesn't happen this time. Because, again, the editing process is what kills my motivation, not this. So, hopefully, I'll just have it out. I don't even know if I have to do, like, really... I have to make an intro. But then, also that's it. I can just kind of upload it the way it is right now. But, tell me how that race went for you. Because... I'll be honest, I didn't watch the full thing, but I did know what happened. It was a battle between you and Citri, correct? Well, it was more like, I never really got to Citri. The only point where I was, like, directly next to Citri. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but Citri was the one chasing you down, right? Well, I was at the end. This is, like, what, 20, 
25 30 laps before that it's like yeah lap 90 hmm. um but before all that stage one in qualifying Lightbox destroyed everyone stage one yeah um, everyone just kept i remember right at the beginning of the race you three fearless you and citri all wrecked and you guys were stuck in the back fight blocks was just chilling yeah hold on take your time it appears res has had an interception yeah my, my grandma's talking to me sorry how dare she do that what the fuck is <laughs> wrong got, with her uh, why would food. she th doesn't she realize that her grandson is being interviewed on ask a hot seat by the great Gavin Graham. Yeah, exactly. By with Gavin Graham. Yeah, that's my full name. But it was pretty cool to see you win a championship, though. I mean, honestly, you've been here for a while. That's why I got. That's why I'm so sad over what happened to Addicted, right? Because yeah. he's been, because he's been here for so long, and like, yeah, I feel like if anyone deserves a championship, it's him. But you're in a similar boat. You've been here since season two, like. I think honestly, it's pretty cool. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, seeing a rookie champion is cool and all, right? But like, I think it, I find it a little bit more satisfying for my taste anyway. When you have a guy who, you know, has been here like, for a long his time. Way up. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you've worked your way up. You've been, you know, been on decline. You came back up. You know, it was pretty cool to see you win that championship. Yeah, I remember a stage one, like, in qualifying, where the server, stage one in qualifying. The server was like absolutely not it. Mm -hmm. I had like a. I had double the ping of what I had during stage two. Yeah. And, like, it did not feel good. So that's why, like, I finally on stage one, I was like, what, P10? Mm hmm. I feel like. I don't know. Now that you bring up the, like, I don't know what happened this season. Was it just me? Or was ping worse than it's ever been? I mean. I think it depends a little on this on the. I'm yeah, whoever. yeah, because I, I think we really did realize this season that, like, if we could control who hosts the server, right, whoever's the first one yeah. to join, it might be okay. Because, like, even after I got... Because, first off, this was the first season where I... Like, the reason why I stopped driving was because my ether... Uh, not my ether, my wireless internet connection wasn't enough. Like, every oh, cool. race, I was having issues. And nothing had changed. It was just... But I don't know. But even after, like those, like yesterday, uh, during the um, the middle of the D two race, I had to yeah, like, switch. Yeah, I just switched. Had to the PD. Yeah, it's transferred the PD because even though I have Ethernet now, it it was worse. It was probably the worst it's ever been. Now, yeah. to be fair, I think the reason why it happened was because I had played a lot of F one Manager that day, and I think my computer needed a rest that I was not giving it because I, later that night when I came home from work um, or not even night at like six in the morning when I came home from work um, my laptop was perfectly fine so it might have just needed a break um, can I admit something to you <laughs> yeah so um, I didn't stream the D1 race and I told everybody that it was because I had to go to work and that isn't necessarily a lie right like because um, when D2 started, because I know D2 started a little late than it intended to. It started like a couple, like 20 minutes late or something. Yeah, because um, fucking Chris intentionally pushed it back like 30 minutes just to make sure I could get home. Oh, yeah. I, I remember I could, that. I couldn't make practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. That's crazy, though. You had no practice and you won the championship. Yeah, I bet that's just, that's just a gist of me. Like, even back in season four. Yeah, I, I was I could be fast as fuck with zero practice. Mm -hmm. Homestead, I also feel like isn't. I don't know. It's, it's, not it. hard. it's not hard. It's very fun. I think it's still our best track on the whole schedule easily. Yeah. I mean, you know, um, Homestead was one of the few tracks where the idea of it being because the philosophy of making tracks for Aska is to make them look, you know, realistic, right? To make it look as yeah. close to the actual thing as possible. Um, the racing product usually plays second fiddle, but when it comes to this track with Homestead, because this is the second Homestead that we've built, um, the first Homestead, as, as I'm sure you remember, had really high banking, was kind of a little Oh, shitty. yeah. Yeah, so... This, this is like, th that's the one race that we ran uh, where we hawked one at a fucking Homestead. Homestead. No, he didn't win there. Gage wrecked him, remember? Oh, Gage... Yeah, Gage wrecked Gage him, won. remember? Yeah, no, because we had fucking dominated that race. That was the one time where Weog was genuinely a race-winning car. Right? Uh, like, he was destroying everybody. 
And um, I haven't got to that point of um, rewatching all the the Ask and the LSPN stuff yet. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm, back. I'm so sorry. Oh God, I don't like looking back at that stuff. I don't. The chat. Uh oh. Mm -mm. I don't. Like it's fun to look back at, but I try to ignore the chat because we we weren't saying very nice things. But we weren't. Yeah, we were not. But hey, we're better now. All right, we have grown. We have changed. We've evolved. But, when it comes to, I'm going to say that a lot, BUT, god damn, when it comes to season six, do um, you have any plans that you want to tell anyone, if you know them? Well, all the plans I have right now for season six, I cannot tell, because um, if I did say that, Chris would probably beat the shit out of me. I mean, okay, you don't have to say a name, but like you can kind of give a little bit of a hint, right? If you want. If you don't want to, it's fine, right? Like, he isn't gonna get mad if you, if you, like... Here, I'll give an example. Here, I'll, I'll say my driver lineup right now. One, uh, so I have three cars, as yeah. uh, was announced this morning. One of them is a returning driver, one of them is a veteran, and one of them is a rookie. Th that's all I'll say. I don't know what I'm doing this season for my lineup, because... You don't, have you not discussed it with anyone yet? Um... No, not really. I'm just like very relaxed. Yeah, see, because that's, because I feel like that's what happened in season four, right? Is that you didn't really, like, think ahead of it. You kind of just took who was left, right? Yeah, like by the time it was like actually like look at everything. All yeah. Of, everyone was taken. Yeah, because a lot of the D1 teams, I think you're gonna start seeing this with the D2 teams too, because this is gonna be the first time that we're gonna have teams in D2 for multiple seasons, and. Mm -hmm. I think what you are going to see, because most D1s do this, D1 teams that are <clears throat> successful a lot of the time are teams that have their lineups. lineups determined ahead of time, right? Like in yeah. season four, I didn't have my team decided because I didn't know who. Because the season before in season three, I had Addicted and I had Bran and I had Weehawk. The only yeah. one that was returning was Weehawk. Uh, Brain was leaving Aska and Addicted was heading over to Penske's team. Yeah. Wait, no. Wait. Season four, he raced for Penske's team. Yeah. Sorry, I got confused for a second. So, um, I needed spots to fill. And I wasn't racing that season. So, yeah, there were spots to fill. And, um, and because the because I couldn't find anyone until, um, testing. Right, I'm not testing uh, tryouts. Yeah. Because um, no one wanted That's to race for me. That's the same situation because, like, I didn't, I don't, like, at the time, people yeah. probably, probably not, mm -hmm. not as much now, but, like, I was, like, one of the outcasts. Yeah. yeah. When it comes to being able to get those good drivers ahead of time is really important. Because yeah. with, there are going to be so many people, right? There's going to be a, I believe that tryouts this season um, have the most that we've ever had. So there is going to be a lot of people. And you're going to have to, especially because you're in D2, right? You're yeah. going to have to really look at that. And um, try to get any, like, try to get, you know what I mean? Like, try to get people that have already raced before if you can. Because that will more than likely be a good choice. Like, who'd you have in your season? Uh, who'd you have on your team this season? Uh, like, at, by the end of the season? Yeah. Uh, Tala, me... Wiggle and Nass, but like Wiggle yeah, and Nass Wiggle and Nass didn't Nass never showed up. Um, I will I had say Caustic one point and then I fired him. But you had Caustic? Yeah, I didn't know that. But um, I will say this: I did talk to Tawa about racing for Beard Oil. He declined. He cannot make D1 races. So I, I have you talked to Tawa? Um, I wouldn't think about it. Like I've been thinking about. I would resign him. Yeah. If I were you. Um, so I know that he doesn't have any wins yet, but he has... He has the pace. It's yeah, you know, because I know he didn't have it when he first, like, started racing. I know, like, people were, like, not really making fun of him. But, like, whenever, like, he'd make a pass for, like, 12th, we would all be cheering in the VC. But, um, he's genuinely fast now. Like, yeah. not even, you know, like, bullshitting or anything. Like, he's genuinely quick now. I remember, like, a, I think it was Chicagoland as well. Yeah, Chicago, um, I know Chicagoland. He was really he was quick. He was bound for the win. Yeah. Yeah, I was uh -huh. cheering him on, dude. Uh, I Talladega. think if you sign him, there's a very good shot that he wins. 
Because he's going to have that extra season of experience up against yeah. everyone else who's going to be probably in their rookie season. Yep. I mean, I You're think like, that'd be a good sign. Probably all deal to Final Four. Yeah. Well, deal, the other deal to Final Four besides me because I can't do it. Is, uh, moving up to Cup. Yeah. yeah. And I think it'd be an easy signing for you because, again, Tawa told me. Because I, I was genuinely considering signing him because I like him. Right? I think he's funny. And I think it'd it's be better to have him in the VC. But, um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, but he was like, no, I can't make D1 races. I'd rather be in D2. I'm like, all right, that's fair. So, um, and in retrospect, I'm kind of happy I didn't because I think the driver's side I got instead were a lot better. No offense, Tawa. But, um, <laughs> but, um, I mean, like, I don't, I, I probably wouldn't take any effect because Chris Ball Paul, champion, oh don't even. Chris Ball Paul, what, a, what an interesting fellow. Dude, I am. Dude, one. I am so sad that Chris automatic and, fail. Yeah, I'm so. We were gonna go on a manhunt to go find him. Do you know where he's been? Do you know where he is? Because it seems yeah, like the, everyone I've asked about where Chris Ball Paul is, I have not gotten an answer. Uh, like, in, on Discord? On Discord, anything. Oh, I, I was just talking to him earlier today. What the fuck? Where is he? Uh, I don't fucking know. I was talking to him in DMs. Okay. No, because it seems like nobody's in a server with him. Um, I mean, was he in any the only, other league? The only server that I'm in, the only few servers that I'm in with him that he, like, where as a driver is a NR league. That's okay, it. well, that makes sense, right? Because he does NR. Yeah. I mean, okay. I don't know. I, I feel bad because I know that Chris Ball Paul, a lot of the stuff that Chris Ball, I know Chris Ball Paul liked to complain a lot. But a lot of the time, he was kind of right, in all honesty. Yeah. Like, he'd have a wall fling or something went wrong. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he wasn't wrong, per se. But, uh, yeah, kind of sucks that like he's on Like, his attitude now. about it was... Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, when you're lagging every race, like... Because, you know, his internet's kind of shit. So when it comes to Asuka, which is a league that, you know, is very demanding on internet a lot of the time... Yep. It makes sense. You know what I mean? So, yeah. let's see. What is our run time? I believe that we are near the 40 minute mark. Let's take a peek really quick. Let's take a peek. We are sitting at a comfortable, almost yeah. 40 minutes. So 30 minutes. It's yes. like perfect, 30 minutes. Yeah, so we're pretty much there. So finally, I want to ask you, entering next season, I'm assuming you're racing again, right? In D2? Yeah. All right. What are the expectations you're setting for yourself next season? At least go for a title defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's the great way of going about it. Um, especially because I believe that you are the first D2 champion who did not go up to D1. So you are yeah. going to be the first. You're really going to be the first driver that's going to try to defend your championship. Because, um, you know, we had uh, Nikki in Season 2. Season 3, we had fucking covers. <laughs> covers is a champion. Um, season 4, Chris Ball Paul, and now you. So, yeah. it's going to be interesting to see, for sure, because this is going to be the first time that we're going to be seeing, um, you know, an actual title defense in Season uh, 6. But, with that being said, I want to thank you for coming out here. Uh, we're kind of... Honestly, I'm going to see if I can get this video out tonight. Genuinely. Like, what time is it? It's fucking uh, 7.15 for me. So, I have to go to work in three hours. Genuinely, I could try to get this video out, like, tonight, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Good luck on that. Yeah, I'll try. Um, I'm not going to try to put in too much editing. Um, and I think if I do that, it could be out by tonight, genuinely. So, again, thank you so much for coming out. Um, and hopefully you don't die, because that would be very unfortunate. Also, I'm yes. looking, as we're talking right now, I'm looking at the, um, the D2 cars for next season, right? Oh, yeah. I am very happy with how they're I've coming seen out. them, and they look really nice. Yeah, hold on. Now, hold on. now, now, very important. And don't say, don't, like, say anything that gives it away, but how's the funny coming along? How's the funny? The funny. You know what I'm talking about. I think so, yeah. I haven't really... That's okay. I understand. That's, that's the, um... That's the... It's the funny. Yeah, that's the um, that's the main thing that I'm gonna be working on for like the next week. Yeah, because I know you were having that um, yeah, that issue with your computer that you've resolved. Yeah, but 
it's gonna be pretty exciting. I'm really excited for when we announce the funny. Um, it is the funniest shit that I think I've ever seen. And uh, I think you guys are gonna laugh a lot too. So um, when that time comes, we'll announce it. But uh, Res has been doing some hard work here at Asuka these last few seasons. And uh, a lot of this stuff would not be uh, possible without him, like genuinely. So again, like, yeah. thank you, man. Like genuinely, like it's and also, pretty I, cool. I want to thank Chris who's like, for just giving me this opportunity. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, thank him for paying you, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I've learned so much stuff while like doing this. Yeah, and you've also gotten a lot of money on the side, which you know you can't complain about. You know, you get Chris. Or I got married by Gage. You got, you get Chris. To, oh yeah, and you also work with Gage too, dude. You're yeah. making bank. <laughs> like, I, I, I supply like a good chunk of Rory racing leagues now. <laughs> That's incredible, well, like genuinely. <laughs> You're making a whole like side hustle making Roblox cars. Let's fucking go, dude. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, we'll it's see you next podcast. time. I think. See ya, thieves! Bing chilling. Bing chilling. Alright, well, thank you for coming out. It was pretty cool.